How to design a journal using Canva templates and sell on Amazon KDP. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll guide you guys step by step how you can build your journal using Canva and sell it on Amazon. So without wasting any time, let's get into it. Now the first step is to start building your journal and there are two sections you need to build. First is your internal section, second is your external. Section. So for the external section, which is the book cover, you're going to go into the Amazon KDP cover calculator and just fill out the interior type, the direction, the measurement units, and select a interior trim size. Whatever trim size that you select and whatever page count that you add is click on calculate dimensions. Once you do that, copy the full cover width and then just click on custom size change that to inches and then paste that into Canva. You're just going to copy this and then copy it again and then click on create new design. Now over here again in the cover calculator, click on download template on the bottom left. Once you do that, you're going to take a look at the downloaded file and open up the zipped file and then go into uploads on the left and upload that zipped file. There is going to be a template like this that is going to help you in guiding your book cover. So just click on this book cover template and then click on the transparency on the top. Reduce that to 35 and then get started with designing. So I want to build something inspired by this gratitude journal. So I'm going to take some inspiration from there and then I'll just go into text first. And I am going to take some cute text. I'll just take this one over here and I will leave the spaces. And I will add gratitude and on the bottom, gratitude, like this journal. And now I'm just going to resize this and then place that over here. And I can just click on elements and then I'll click on the simple line shape and then place that at where my spine should be. So where the book cover uh, spine is where the book folds and now I can remove the template from the background because I have you know a general estimation of where everything should be. I will just click on this and then click on the lock icon again and then just delete the book cover. I will just click on delete over here like so. Once this is completed I can get started with designing so firstly I'm going to give it a color and then I'm going to change my font color as well like so. Now I'm going to go ahead and search for a flower and then click on graphics and then I will take some cute illustrations like these and then I'm going to place these all together and I'm just taking a bunch of these and I'm placing them because I don't want to have to go back again to add these so I'll just select these all together and now I can resize them. Not my book spine going to select all of these like so. I'm just going to resize all of these into an appropriate size and I'm just going to resize these two as well. And you can make these alternate in, you know, alternate in size and you know, variable. And then I'm just going to place these around my gratitude journal title like this and just, you know, create this really nice effect of florals like so. Now this placement obviously you're going to work on this to make it a bit more perfected because you want it to be pretty nice and smooth like this. I think this looks pretty decent right now but I still would recommend to spend some more time when you're building your final journal book cover. Now once you're satisfied with the appearance you can click on share and then click on download and download this as a pdf standard. Now once you have downloaded this you are going to get started with designing the internal pages. For that go into canva and then just change the width into six or whatever width you have. So whatever is your trim size just add 0.25 on both the width and the height and now it's time to start designing your internal pages. Now on the left, because we want to do this with as many templates as possible, just search for journal over here and you will see a bunch of different journal, personal journal, wellness journal, and I'm just going to search for a wellness journal because that is the specific journal I want, wellness journal. And you guys can see daily wellness logs. So there are a bunch of different templates for this as well. I'm going to use this one over here. 
Once I've done that, I think I want to use this self-care journal instead. And I'll change where it says self-care. And I'm just going to change this. Instead, I want to add flower. And I'll just add a cute little floral element over here. That is going to make it look a bit more pizzazzy. I'll just place this like so. And now I have my pages ready. Once you have your page ready, you're supposed to copy this multiple times. So we're just going to create 10 pages and then you can just select them all together. You're just going to select these and then you can click on duplicate and just duplicate them 50 times or however many pages that you wrote in your KDP book cover calculator. I have 46 and then I just need four more. So I'm going to select four more and then click on duplicate. Then click on share on the top right i will name this into journal interior and then click on share click on download and then download this as a png now once i have completed that i can get started with uploading my design on amazon so my canva design can now be uploaded on amazon to do this just go into kdp.amazon.com and go into the direct publishing from here, click on create and it's time to create your KDP book. So you're going to choose what type of book this is. This is a paperback book. So I'm going to click on create paperback and you're going to choose your book title. So this is our wellness journal. Or no, it's a gratitude journal. So I'll add gratitude journal and then you can add a subtitle, a series, edition numbers, authors. So this is going to be Miss Lily. And then we have contributors, a description. This journal will help you stay calm and relax with gratitude for your blessings. And you can, you know, further optimize your description. Below that, you just add your publishing rights and primary audience. So no. And then you're going to add your reading age. So there is, let's say... If you want to add a reading age, you can, but I'm going to skip that. We have our primary marketplace and categories. So this is going to be books and this is going to be wellness. I'm going to scroll and see, and I'm going to add this in self-help. And this is journal writing. This is going to be self-esteem. This is going to be happiness. And then I'll just click on save categories. Then you can add your keywords and your publication date, and then click on save and continue. After that, you're going to upload both of your PDFs. I'll just have to complete my last name and then go ahead and upload your content, which is going to be the PDFs you downloaded from Canva. So you will see over here, you have print options. I want this to be standard color or premium color. I think I want standard color. We have our trim size, the pleat size, the paper finish, and you're first going to click on launch cover, not launch cover creator. You're going to click on upload a cover. And you're just going to upload your cover into Amazon. Select the second option and click on upload your file. And you should be able to see your PDF file over here. Make sure to unzip your files before you get started. And just like that, you are now going to be able to create designs on Canva and upload them onto Amazon KDP. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.